From being the rumored frontrunner for the director's chair to being a lifelong fan of the franchise himself, here's all you need to know about Denis Villeneuve directing the next Bond movie. Now, while it's all in the rumor mill, the producers are eyeing Denis to be the next director of the franchise, which is great because have you guys seen this man's films? Let's take the most recent example, Dune. The film made a whopping $402 million on a $165 million budget, which is super cool and a huge nod to the director's vision. Imagine that for the next Bond. Obviously, this news is still unconfirmed. But according to Demois, Villeneuve is a frontrunner in the race to become the next film's director. The outlets quoted that while the next 007 actor is AWOL, the search and hunt for the director is well underway and Denis could be the one leading that list at the moment. In fact, he's apparently Barbara Broccoli's number one choice. World of Real further cemented this claim from Dumois, saying that while it definitely isn't a totally reliable source, they're reporting what the industry has been hearing since January. So yeah, guys, prepare to see his name when the credits roll. But the bigger question is, will Villeneuve have time? Because we all know he's working on some pretty big projects right now including Doom 2 and the Cleopatra movie. Don't forget, he was also approached to direct No Time to Die, but he was so busy with Dune, he refused to work on the project altogether. So is it a yes or a no? World of Real thinks it's a yes. According to them, he'll definitely make time for the film. Because for one, it's obviously a big project. And for another, He's also a huge fan of the franchise himself. And who wouldn't want to give their own fun twist to their favorite character, right? He was also Daniel Craig's pick for the director's chair. And apparently, the ex-Bond was all ears to hear his input about No Time to Die. And it isn't just the actor. Denis has also been a fan favorite for a long time, with people saying that he's actually a great pick for the job and that he can give the character a very nuanced feel that we've usually seen in his movie characters. Fans have been referring to his work in Prisoner, Blade Runner, and of course, Dune. And this isn't new. It's been years since fans have been clamoring to get him up the hill. They claim he's capable, creative, and has enough soul to understand the assignment right away. In fact, a lot of people wanted him to work with Craig in his James Bond swan song. But while that's water well under the bridge now, it's clear that everyone thinks Denis is a good pick for the job. Except for a few critics who are against him playing director. Obviously, some of these are the same passionate fans who once hated Craig for being picked as Bond too. But for objectivity's sake, let's check out their concerns too. One major claim from the critics is that for this franchise, one needs to have a sense and understanding of the ridiculous, which makes sense. The crazy world of 007 isn't straightforward like our world. It's indulgent with its action, torture, and even some over-the-top plots. But with Denis, their concern was that he just won't get the themes of Bond's universe and will turn the film into an intellectual and moral dilemma instead. So basically humorless and dry. Now that's a little harsh, but let's see what others had to say. Another fan commented that with Villeneuve, the film could turn into an art house movie, instead of the action-loving, guilty pleasure of a flick it currently is. They quoted Sir Sam Mendes as an example, saying that while he did a great job with Skyfall, he fell short on Spectre. Which sure, they're not wrong, but you can't just claim Denis won't do a good job if he isn't given a chance. Some fans are also concerned that his sci-fi background could lead him to using more CGI and external elements than the usual Bond style, organic features in the movie. But how will we know if we never tried, right? Plus, Denis' work in Siscario is proof enough that he can be a great pick for this franchise. Now, I don't know if you've seen that film or not, but Siscario is actually one of the best films from the previous decade, and I'm not saying that lightly. It's full of action, drama, and possibly some pretty slick direction, which was able to capture its mood, themes, and fears of the characters so well. People are calling it a template of what today's Bond should be like. That's high praise. And I bet that while Villeneuve isn't an action director, he'll be able to handle 007 exactly the way it should be. Although, just for the sake of it, what if he isn't picked as director this time either? Don't worry, there are other fan picks too. There's obviously Martin Campbell, who doesn't need any introduction as far as James Bond fans are concerned. 
but his problem is that he left directing these films because he found the plots too limiting. Although he has commented that this is also the reason why he likes working with new Bond actors, and the producers are already on the lookout for him, right? People are also imagining Steven Spielberg directing a film with Robin Williams' theme. But that's a dream I think won't be coming true for a very long time. So I think it's better to move on. On to Christopher Nolan, who again needs no intro as far as movie geeks are concerned. Some fans have even gone so far as to say that Tenet has his audition tape for the next Bond, and I don't disagree. The man's talented enough, and it'll be just like him directing The Dark Knight again, only with a hero who works in the UK without a cape and cow, and less aversion to other colors than black. No matter who they pick, though, fans are waiting to hear the classic Bond theme come back, complete with a retro style of action that was missing during Craig's time. Of course, that largely depends on who plays the character next. Which brings me to my question, who will be playing 007 now? And whoever is going to take up the mantle, will they even be as good as Daniel Craig? We all know rumors of Henry Cavill playing the role have been spreading like wildfire. But let's not jump the gun on that one, because he's more suited to be dropped from franchises right now than being picked by them. Not my best joke, but you get it. People have also been talking about Idris Elba, Shopa Durusu, Killian Murphy, Richard Madden, and even Lashana Lynch. Which, by the way, would be a pretty great choice if it ever happens. But this is a decades-long argument, and I'm pretty sure you've already heard the worst of it. So I'll just move on to my actual question. When will the final decision come out? And folks, I have to say, that's a million-dollar question, and I don't have an answer for it yet. Of course, I do have rumors one of which is based on Broccoli's comments about the new movie, and how it'll come out a couple of years after Bond's 26th edition. This takes the potential release date to either 2024 or 2025, meaning that any expected announcement should happen by the tail end of this year. Exciting, right? Although whenever that announcement happens, I gotta say, Villeneuve definitely is the right choice for the film. Now, I know I've spent the whole video talking about it, but let's just go through the basics again once more, shall we? For one, he's a great human director, which means that he can portray emotions and human behavior pretty well through his lens. He's also got experience working in high-budget franchise films, so it's not like he'll get overwhelmed by the size of this one. Of course, there will be a lot of fan expectations involved, but that's a pressure every Bond director has to face. And it's not like he'd be new to such fanfare. So yeah, I say if the dude's picked for the job, he'll definitely do justice to the movie. What's better is, Denny wants to be a Bond director too. And I know I've mentioned this before, but you guys, he's always wanted to direct a 007 movie. In fact, back when he was making Dune, he was asked by reporters whether he'd like to join this franchise. And his answer was a pretty resounding yes. According to reports, he'd agreed to direct such a film with a massive yes, and he's got a lot of affection for the character itself too. Listen to that and tell me, how can a guy like that even imagine butchering 007 at all? He was also all praises for Craig, saying that what he brought to the character was so unique, it's hard to think how any other actor could replicate that. But hey, maybe under Villeneuve's guidance, they could even surpass that. Guess we gotta wait to find out. And that's all for my end. From Denis lifelong James Bond fan status, to him being eyed as a potential favorite for the next film's direction, that's all the details you needed on Villeneuve directing the next Bond movie.